Hey guys, this is KFP with Tape, and today you join me for episode 8 of the Elu Base series. And today the Keythane mod is working. Not really sure why, because I haven't updated the mod or the game, but it's working, which is great. Although I did reinstall lots of things on my computer, so maybe that's why, but or maybe there was. I, I don't know why it's working, but it's working, so let's just land the um, Keythane miner and start mining Keythane so that uh, this base can be self, self sustaining, because all the Kerbals really need is fuel. They don't need food unless you have the mod installed which I do, um, but it's not active on this, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so and now I can actually finally start making fuel on Elu and not having to send stuff out, and I am increasing the size of the other base and starting to transfer people between bases, because um, between Elu and Kerbin, because there's been a, people on Elu for a long time now and they're probably getting a little bored, especially because I haven't let them come out for a walk. They've been uh, confined to their cabins. Anyway, this is the lander that you may remember from previous episodes, and I'm just preparing it for landing by deploying the landing gear. And I've, I just, you may have just seen um, that I tucked away a solar panel, so it, if I break the solar panels, there'll be at least one. Um, but yeah, this will be the um, kind of miner for now. I hope to bring out maybe another one of these, and maybe a big mining rig that stays on the surface, and then I kind of transfer fuel between, uh, like a fuel tanker and this. I've still got to figure out um, transferring fuel on the surface. I have various ideas. Um, one that is basically just completely plagiarizing Hot Gaming's idea, where he kind of has these dockable panels, um, and then you can position your craft and dock to them and transfer fuel because they'll be all connected together via this one long panel with multiple docking ports. Or I um, use rovers which uh, have docking ports which connect to like flyy ships. Um, and the problem with that usually is that the surface isn't flat, so what I can do is land a flat surface, so a big bunch of panels, I can just land it on the surface and that will uh, sort of serve as my um, flat surface, but I, I don't know, I'll, I'll figure that out in the future. Right now all refueling will be done in orbit, and this is coming down to land. Um, this is at like some times time accelerate, uh, oh yeah this is back to one times time accelerate because it was in three times, um, but now it's back to one. Uh, three times rather than four times, just because my software thing shut up. Um, but anyway, this is a nice mud patch, probably the only unsnow. No, there's actually a lot of bits that aren't snowy on Elu. It kind of looks like a muddy snowball. I'm just going to take a drink real quick. Because I haven't had a drink in a while and it's like midnight. Um, but you know, anyway. We're coming down slowly and nicely and not crashingly, which is good. Um, yeah, the solar panels won't, b well actually if you land on them when they're stowed they will still break because this is really heavy, but now it's pretty much tipping over and I'm like in back in time almost having a heart attack but I just pull it back and everything is fine and that's great and I can relax and everything is wonderful. Anyway, so let's quick save because I don't want to screw this up and like fall over somehow and uh, deploy some solar panels and test if there really is keythane here and um, if the keythane mod is working I can tell you now that it is um, yeah so let's deploy the pan the drill is it gonna work? yes it is um, so yeah if you watched the last episode you'll know that I'm bringing out some new things for the other base uh, a big cupola module so Kerbal can have a nice view of the sky and things and something that takes uh, Kerbals from the surface of Elu to the Elu station, and then my Elu shuttle, which is from a couple of episodes back or something like that, will come and come to Elu, grab some Kerbals, fly home, um, and just take Kerbals between Elu and the, the Kerbin. So that's going to be my transport system basically. And this kind of thing, um, this key thing, will refuel all the transport and make it viable without me shipping fuel out because I really don't want to do that because flying out to Elu is hard enough. Um, and now I'm just deploying the other drill because stuff, but and I don't want to have to fly huge payloads out to Elu all the time. I want it to be self-sustaining. But anyway, we are now dropping the other drill. Good. Now we and as you can see, the key thing has started to be mined. Um, and I'm doing a little test. I have started converting the key thing into monopropellant uh, just as a test, and that's worked fine. Um, which is good because now I can at least make more propellant and that suggests I can make liquid fuel and oxidizer and ion uh, xenon gas if I want it. Um, 
I don't think I will be using any Xenon kind of ion pulses in this because um, oh, they're evilly slow. I'm just gonna take another drink again. I just really hate using other using them. I tried to make a big barge out of it, which would go fast, but eh. Um, yeah. Anyway, I've taken Bob Kerman out to plant a flag, just so I remember where to land, really, because you know, I mean, I'm gonna be putting things down here loads. Um, but you know. There goes my block. I really need a tape gaming flag. I did have one, but it was awful, and I don't have it anymore because I've installed my computer system, operating system, so many times. Anyway, property of, you know, I'll just let me type and past me type because it takes a little while, and then I'll read it out in a second after having a drink. And then I'm actually um debating to whether or not to call it um Inc. Incorporated or Corp or Corporation. Anyway, it's the property of Tape Mining Corp because I am. Um, there is the civilian corp and the t and the mining corp now decided, and yeah, it, it's none of your business. So if you if you find find yourself on Elu for any chance, don't go near my mining. I'm very protective over it. Um, I was gonna make a Mitt Romney joke, but I don't know. I I think uh, that's a little lowbrow for my channel or highbrow. Don't really know which one it would go, but I'm not gonna make politics jokes just in case you're a Republican, which is fine. Um. I mean, lots of people like lots of things, um, and Obama was saying that once he uh, he went to this, this pizza place in the south or something, and this Republican guy gave him a big hug, and it's nice, because, you know. But anyway, enough about politics, um, and more about just mine and keythane. Yeah, so um, let's time warp, and the keythane will be mined much quicker, uh, yeah. I'm gonna fin finish my coffee now. Now my um, commentary will be as fluid as ever. But I'm hoping I don't completely exhaust the planet of Keythane, because that'd be a little embarrassing. Although kind of cool, and kind of like, hey, I exhausted an entire planet of fuel. Stop mining fossil fu fuels. Fuels. That's how I'm gonna say it from now on. Um, no, I'm tired. I can't really speak properly. Anyway, let's try. Uh, of converting liquid fuel and oxidizer so there goes the liquid fuel um and this takes a while and i have to do the oxidizer as well and i forget to do them simultaneous right simultaneously right now and i have to transfer fuel between a few tanks but anyway i'll skip that out um and now we're back and there was a cross fade into nightfall so you probably didn't properly see that but uh i get finished mining just as the sun starts to go down which is good um crap my speakers are going nuts i hope i'm not getting text that'd be bad uh, anyway, that's that done. Um, oh, I thought my video had stopped then because the um, keythane drill was going away so slowly. I haven't filled this with keythane key um, because it takes off quite slowly, but I'm hauling about 3,000 litres, so that should be fine for the station because the station is equipped to convert it. Um, and I'm going to take some fuel there, but I don't get a huge amount of fuel there, so this will be mainly transporting keythane rather than liquid fuel and oxidizer. But anyway, you can see it's quite a slow takeoff. Um, because I'm going to go rendezvous with the station I launched a few episodes ago. Um, yeah, so it is actually a pretty slow takeoff and a pretty slow flight. So I am going to cut that out. I've just noticed I forgot to crossfade it, but I'm sure you can live with that. There you go. Anyway, now we're um, coming into the Andromeda station, and I believe this is sped up. Yep. Um, again to three times time accelerate rather than four times because software dick. Um, I couldn't even be bothered to insult it, I just called it a software dick. That's what it is. Anyway, um, this was a really horrible rendezvous because what I didn't notice at the time, um, well I did notice eventually, is that uh, the Andromeda station was rotating really randomly because I think it's because I re had to install an update for MechJab which is actually on there and now I notice and oh no still don't I'm I'm not very smart is basically what's going on and this is horrible to maneuver anyway so um it was a pretty long docking I almost cut it out but then kind of left it in because it kind of got across how um well uh, how awful this is to dock and it is on the dark side of the planet but there's tons of lights everywhere so um I'll probably boost the brightness but I think it should be fine because I've put lights on the station and everything so you know it should be fine and it was just kind of a matter of I'm not going to waste time just to put this in daylight, but I do warp into daylight so you get to see some things later. Um, I hope you don't mind for that, but uh, I should be able to boost the brightness, and YouTube does darken it though. But as I see it, everything looks fine. 
Anyway, now we're coming in for the rendezvous. It only takes ages. Uh, I'm not sure how long it'll take it uh, sped up, but um, it was a really horrible docking to do. Yeah, I. That's what another reason I don't want to be bringing really big crafts out is. Um, I don't really like dock. Well, I can dock huge things, but I mean, in weird orbits, kind of around Elu, which I'm not familiar with, with like hardly any fuel, it's just going to be really difficult. But I, I, I don't know. I'll see what happens. I should probably extend this station a bit as well because it only has a few docking ports. Anyway, I've transferred a bit of fuel. Um, but now I'm transferring the keythane across. Uh, there are. There's only like uh, this. The station can only hold about four thousand liters of keythane, which is fine right now, um, and it can convert it into fuel. So that's all good. Um, is that all transferred? No, there's still loads left. And it does have a keythane generator, which is pretty cool, which turns keythane into electricity. So if I really needed electricity and I smashed off all my solar panels and this was about to run out and for some reason I needed electricity, I could run the generators. And that'd be fine. But my favorite way of um, getting fuel is, well, it's, it's, it's really horrible, but there's this thing called um, keythane, oh my god, wait, no, stop, or something like that. And you blend your kerbals to make key uh, to make liquid fuel no to make keythane and it's awful but you know maybe I'll cre create an evil corporation that um, does that to actually no that'll be a really dark series I don't want to do that where I have to stop like genocide okay that's that was a horrible idea for a series I'm definitely not doing that but anyway now I'm trying to find a little bit more fuel across after converting that um keythane. And that is pretty much the end of this, um, at uh, this end of this episode, and I'm having to do kind of a ballet with the fuel transfer. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will be mining Keithane in the future and bringing more things out to expand the base and expand the awesomeness of the series. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you like the video, um, consider leaving a like, that'd be cool. Uh, but yeah, this has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.